Paul Butler. I'm one of the client partners at New Leaf Training and Development, and I'm joined today by John Gardner, who is the owner of JSG Insurance, who I'm very proud to say has been our insurance provider since day one of starting our business. Hey, John, as you well know, for the last 15 years at New Leaf, we focus really on three things. Number one, helping people better manage themselves. Number two, helping people better lead others. And number three, growing business acumen. And I just wondered what your recommended best practices are in those three areas. And please start, though, by telling us a little bit more about your organisation, what you specifically do and who you serve. So over to you, John, and I'll wrap it up when you're done. Sounds good. Thanks, Paul. Thanks for having me this morning, uh, this afternoon. Afternoon. Um, yeah, we are a small insurance brokerage that focuses primarily on families, individuals, and smaller businesses. I like to say brick and mortar businesses of under 25 employees, and that's really who we serve. And we do take a different approach. We work primarily on helping those people. We educate them. We that's really our focus is to educate people about insurance so they can make informed choices. And whether they write their business with us or not, we consider it success if we've been able to educate them in something they didn't know. And, and that's worked out pretty well for us, which is into the things that you guys do in terms of your education process as well. And you know, you talked about you know, better managing yourself. And, and I think the thing that we've started to do that's really helped us with that is one set goals. I mean, that's one of those things that you hear everybody talk about. And it's not about setting the goals, but it's also about tracking the goals. And, you know, part of this in terms of growing your business is if you set a vision for yourself, what you want your business to look like in five years, then you set yourself goals, which are really milestones along the way, and then you track them. So, you know, if you're meeting them or not. And the one thing that's going to be one thing that always happens is you never exactly meet your goal. But what it does is it creates a signpost for you and it helps you, you know, decide where you need to pivot. Maybe you need to do something a little bit more, something a little bit less, whatever it happens to be, it gives you a roadmap to work on. So being able to do that, track your results and knowing your numbers, whether they be financial numbers, whether they be your marketing numbers, those things are all ways that I think are probably the key things in managing yourself. Mm -hmm. um, you know, in terms of growth, also you talked about leading other people. And, and that's true because you can't do it all by yourself. If you want growth, you are going to hit a wall if it's just you. You're also going to hit a wall even if you bring on people, but you don't bring on the right people. And so for me, the best practices here is really about bringing on the right people because the right people are going to be easier to lead. And in some cases, they're going to be, well, if you bring on the right people, they're going to be self-motivated. They'll even be able to lead some for themselves. And that's what's really going to, to help because if you're having to micromanage it, you're again, you're going to hit that, that proverbial wall of not being able to go much further. So I think what's important is during your selection process is, do you have core values? If your business has core values, do you somehow check for that during your selection process? Do you even include it in your job posting? But bringing those values out at the beginning to find out that somebody's in line with your values is going to make everything much easier. Um, same thing with selecting, you know, what, is it, what are your expectations of what you want from that position and making sure the person has those qualifications to be able to do that without understanding exactly what you want out of the position, just saying, oh, yeah, I want a customer service mm -hmm. person. If you don't really know what you want, how do you accurately interview somebody? So I think understanding your values and making sure that the person has the right values to align with yours and knowing what your expectations are and making sure you have questions that get at those expectations are important. And then as far as growing the business, even though those two things are important, you know, unless you have a target out there, and, and this is more than a goal, but it's really a vision. What is it that you want your business to look like in five years? You know, how many employees do you want? What kind of revenue do you want? What kind of business do you want to be? Do you want to be multi-location, single location? I mean, so many things about what your business looks like that if you don't have that vision, it's really hard to set the goals to help you achieve that vision and, and hire the right people to help you achieve that vision. Similarly, without that vision, you can't impart that vision upon the people who work for you too. So you're all rowing in the same direction. So I think the biggest thing about you know, this, this growing your business is really having the vision and really understanding where you're trying to head and then having a plan to get you there. So all three of these things really do tie together. 
I mean, the fact is it really does start with the vision and knowing where you want to go, go, setting the goals and knowing your numbers to make sure you're on target to get there. And then finally, hiring the right people that align with your values to, and also can see your vision to work with you, row in the same direction and get you there as well. And I think that's how the three things work together. John, thanks ever so much. On behalf of everyone who watches these, and as you know, they've become very popular now. Uh, thanks, John, for your insights to help people and organizations better manage themselves, lead others, and grow business acumen. Could I offer you a virtual high five, John? You can. <laughs> oh, whoa, wait, multiple high fives. Wow. <laughs> very enthusiastic, Paul. Thank you. Thanks ever so much, John. All right. You take care, Paul. Talk to you soon.